But you guys, Microsoft have released a major security patch for Windows 10 that fixes 129 security vulnerabilities. Now, if you are using Windows 10, it's very important that you check for Windows updates, especially for this one, because these are, you know, critical updates. 23 of these are rated as critical, which means they are vulnerabilities inside your Windows 10 operating system. That means at the moment, Microsoft have claimed that these vulnerabilities are not being exploited by hackers or attackers uh, from uh, the internet as of yet. But with them um, taking note of the website, they will see that all these have now been patched. The thing is, if you don't patch your system, that means now they know there are vulnerabilities out there and they will then attack those vulnerabilities on people's machines that haven't been patched. That's why it's so important to make sure that you have this update. So let's take a look at some of these uh, patches and we'll see what they contain. So you can see here, we've got a long list, 129 vulnerabilities, mostly affecting SharePoint. But if you go here, you'll see the date here. This is the 9th of the 8th, 2020. And uh, if you click on September 2020 security updates, you can click on here and it will give you the list of areas. So you see here the September 2020 security release uh, consists of security updates for the following software, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Edge, and that's uh, Edge Chromium based and uh, Edge HTML based. And also we've got a bunch of other stuff here like Internet Explorer, SQL Server, Jet Database Engine, and also Office and Microsoft Office Services and Web Apps. So that's had a major update. Microsoft Dynamics and some other areas here, Microsoft OneDrive as well. So let's take a look at the uh, release notes here. So you can go in here at any time. I'll leave the link in the video description and uh, you can go from and to and basically you can put all products and categories leave this as is and this will then give you the list of the latest patches that they've done and this was on patch tuesday so if we look here 9th of the 8th 2020 and we click on this here this will then give us the release notes for september 2020 security updates and you'll be able to see here the September 2020 security release consists of security updates for the following software. And it will give you the list of the software here. I'm not going to go all through these, but you can see here Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Edge, and this is Edge HTML based and also Chromium uh, based versions as well. Internet Explorer has got some patches. And of course, uh, we've got Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office Services and Web Apps and Microsoft Dynamics as well. You can see here Exchange and OneDrive has got some uh, added security to it as well. So these patches are essential to security on your computer. Now you can see there's 129 of them. And if you come down here, you'll see here, these are the following CVEs. Okay, so let's take a look at the CVEs here. Now you can click on these and it will give you a breakdown of the security vulnerability that they've actually patched. And uh, it does give you a little bit of information. It doesn't go right into deep detail here on this little short bit here. But you can see here to, ex to exploit this vulnerability, an attacker would have to log on to an affected uh, system and run specially crafted applications. Now, you could, I suppose, have a bit of malware that would do that for them. And that's why they've patched it. Uh, they're probably testing this stuff all the time. And again, this happens to all operating systems. So when you get those Linux fanboys telling you it doesn't happen on Linux, it does. And they've got holes inside their system too that have to be patched all the time. That's why we have up the updates for all of our systems. So constantly when you update something, maybe a piece of software, or you add a piece of software onto the system, that could actually cause a vulnerability. So that's why we update uh, software and hardware and also the, the operating system regular so when we go back here 
and we go through here, you can see some of these are related to other areas. You can see to exploit this vulnerability, an attacker would have to log on to an affected system and run uh, specially crafted applications, which relates to malware and stuff like that. So when you click down here, let's take a look. I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can generally see there's quite a an extensive amount of patches that they've done here and this will be a man in the middle attack here which they could use this exploit for so there's some quite good information on this if you're into this sort of stuff i'll leave the link for this sort of uh, information in the video description for you again when you come down here as well you'll see other areas like the kb articles and you can click on these and read these articles which it applies to and this gives you some information about the uh, patches that they've released for that operating system here. The Microsoft Update, Microsoft Catalog here, and basically the Microsoft Download Center does give you a bit of information. And here we have one that attacks Microsoft Excel. You can see remote code execution vulnerability. And uh, basically this is allowing an attacker to uh, send an email uh, via email to attack uh, that system so that will be a piece of malware they will send via the email and you would then click on it and of course that will then be allow them to uh, do remote access pretty scary stuff uh, some of this um, security bits here which you can see uh, there's one for word as well so a lot of office stuff here so in general get yourself uh, updated i know people are a bit dubious about updates sometimes but these are security updates and some of these are critical, so it's important that you update your system. But 32 of these um, updates were classified as remote code execution issues, which are remote access, which are bugs that permit attackers to exploit vulnerability applications remotely over the network. These can be Excel, Word, probably through Office uh, products, and uh, these are pretty serious so you have to make sure if you use office products like i do then you best definitely want to get those updates uh, put on there because if you make a mistake that can give someone remote access to your system now if you want some uh, readable content i will leave some links for some articles in the video description for you where you can see this article here breaks it all down and gives you a breakdown of what it actually means in layman's terms here you can see links to these areas like microsoft sharepoint and it gives you links to the sharepoint area so you can click on these rather than go hunting uh, around like i was showing in the video you can just click on these and it makes it easier to understand and it will take you directly to that so you can understand what they relate to uh, another area here is a bleeping computer as well they've broken it down nice and uh, clearly for for the layman to understand and you can see this is all been broken down nice and easily for you to understand here microsoft browsers you can see this is a critical update and this browser uh, microsoft browser memory corruption vulnerability you've also got other areas here which helps you understand uh, what it actually means and what it actually does you can see this here microsoft uh, dynamics 365 and they're critical as well exchange server so we've got a few areas which are critical here. But I'll leave the links for these in the video description so you can read them at your own leisure. So I hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Stay safe out there, guys, and keep your system up to date, especially with these security updates because they are very important to keeping you safe when you're online, especially if you're doing banking online and things like that. Anyway, have a great day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.